And hello, hello there everybody, hashtag DJ McKay here, and today I'm going to be playing Road Redemption. As well as that, I'll be talking about some giveaways I'll be doing here on the channel over the next few weeks. Let's get straight into the action, shall we? Here we are, YouTube, just ki selecting the character Shovel Knight, because I think that's absolutely awesome. The story also starts with a bit of a quote, so I'm going to read it out here. Sometimes there is no right decision, only different levels of regret. I cannot wait to start playing Road Redemption. For anyone who hasn't seen my pilot episode on this already, what this game is, is a mixed combat racing game. So as well as racing, I will be beating the shit out of other riders. Oh, look at me, I'm the Shovel Knight with a shovel, and I'm going to start cracking some heads. Now, this isn't a race, this is just beat the clock. So I can kind of do whatever I want, come in whatever position I want, as long as I cross that finish line in time. Oh, I'm already just starting to smash people out of it. Oh, now it lagged out a bit in me there. I don't know if that'll have happened in the video, but I'm very sorry if it did. Oh, because I'm just kind of just starting on this game and I haven't 100% figured out how to configure everything yet. Like I said, I did a pilot episode, but this is kind of the official pilot episode for this as a brand new series here on the channel. And um, I haven't got any racing games here on the channel because I'm not a huge racing game fan. Because um, as much as I like cars and action, like action game, uh, you know, like adrenaline, half based games and stuff. I'm just, you know, I'm not that massively into racing games, but if you throw in a bit of combat, I will always play it. Give, give me your burnouts, or your Mario Kart, or your Crash Team racings any day, and I will totally play it. Like, look at that, I just beat a guy's head in with a shovel, it was amazing. Oh, and now I'm beating people with just, like, this is just a spiked baseball bat. I just, someone put some nails in a baseball bat, and I'm hitting people with it. It's glorious. Now, I'm coming to the finish line here, so... Oh, I want to try kick kick some people off this bridge, because you get slightly more points for environment kills. And instead, I got pushed off. <laughs> Shit balls. So much for that approach. I thought I had a really good idea, but I'm about to scoot over the finish line now for the end of race one. Um, these, this, the story of this game is basically that you are a gang leader in the Mid-America region, competing in these events to win honor and better positioning, and eventually be the supreme gang of the Mid-America. Um, I'm just going to choose my upgrades here, and I'll see you in the next race. Here we are into day two. Now, because, oh, sometimes you get a choice of a weapon, so I'm going to pick an Uzi, because, hey, why the hell not? I'm going to riddle some people out of it. Hopefully, this one will be a race, and I'll actually get to compete properly. Oh, no! This is awesome. Sometimes this game gets all Grand Theft Auto open here, and all I have to do is it's just it cause as much mayhem as possible and attract the police while my gang members get up to mischief somewhere else. So, yes, let's, let's, like, I'm hoping I can get, like, the military after me and crap, because eventually they send, like, Humvees and helicopters and shit after you. This game is glorious. The music for it's just, it's so, oh, it suits the game so well, in my opinion. And I just love, oh, I'm riddling people with this Uzi. Beautiful. Oh. As well as just beating people up, I can kind of kick them into things or grab hold of the rider and try to pull them into something if I want. Ah, oh, I'm out of bullets, but I, st I have an AK-47, so A to the motherfucking K, homeboy. Sorry, I'm quoting Cypress Hill now, I should really not do things like that. I'm way too white to quote any rapper. Unless that rapper's Weird Al and he's singing white and nerdy. Because, I am. Um, yeah, this game hasn't got much of a story, because this game is actually an early release um, game. This is only an, I think, uh, early release alpha at the moment. So, like, there could be a lot more added to it. There could be a heavy, heavier story later on in it. There could be more levels or new dynamics added to the game. But as of yet, this is one of the best early access games I've ever played. It's so fun to play, even without out being a fun finished game, that, like, I cannot wait to see what the developers do with this game. There's like seven or so, like five developers or something like that working on this game. That's actually like, seven was an overstatement, but I do think, oh, there is actually five developers working on this. I just got smashed out of by a cop car. And um, by the way, there's a permadeath system. Oh, in this game. If my health hits zero, I have to start from day one again. Now this cop is just stuck at the back of this car, so I'm gonna try beat. Oh crap, don't hit me. Oh. The cops just start ra ramming down the opposite side of the road when you get enough stars and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I really, I need something better than a shovel. I need like a grenade launcher so I can start blowing crap up and really get the stars up. Because uh, so far I'm only on two stars and I need at least four to win. So this isn't going too great so far. Like I said, though, there's a pyramid that, um, system in this game. So basically, any cash upgrades you get and any progress you made in the game are immediately lost if your health bar hits zero. Your character dies, your gang just gets taken over by someone else, and you start again. 
But um, this game is overall absolutely brilliant. There's experience based upgrades as well. So even though you kind of you don't lose everything because of the permadeath, after you death you get some experience based upgrades based on how much experience you've gotten in playing it. And then um, those upgrades you do keep, so kind of a bit like um, Dead Rising in that aspect. Um, also, at the start of this video, I did say I'm doing some more giveaways. I'm doing a $50 giveaway this month, but um, I'm also going to add in two or three other giveaways, and I'm going to be doing one in this video itself. Um, I'm just coming to the finish line here now, because I, I, I know the first four races pretty well from playing already. So I'll explain about what the other giveaways are at the start of the next race, and until then, I'm going to NOS boost. Oh, there's Humvees coming for me now. The military are finally on my ass. Oh shit, here's the finish line and I haven't gotten enough fucking cops. I haven't killed enough cops to actually go on to the next event. Oh no, this is not good. Come on, maybe I can hit four stars right before I get the finish line. Oh, I'm on three. No, that's the finish line here. It's over. I didn't, I didn't get enough stars. Oh, mission win. No, that is enough. So I'll see you all in race four. Love the music for this game. It's actually race three we're on here because um, I'm an idiot and I miscounted and just smashed into a wall. My god, this is what I mean by I suck at racing games. But I do love any racing game that throws in a bit of combat, like Burnout and Mario Kart and stuff. And because of that, I'm actually going to be giving away, as the giveaway for this video, a copy of Burnout Paradise Ultimate Edition. Um, that means it comes with all the DLC too. Oh, I have a shotgun, I think. Oh no, it's a, it's a Magnum. But I can't get killed by guns don't count this round because uh, I need environment kills only this is a knockout event so instead of racing I'm kind of I need to kill as many rival gang members as I can but not with weapons oh I suck so it's some some of the knockout events you're not allowed to use weapons I love the music for this game it's so funky and vibrant and lively it just suits this game so well yeah I'm gonna kick these people into cars Oh, come on. Now, I'm going to try grab this guy if I can. Oh, crap. Oh, he's hit me with it. Did I get... Yes, I got an environment kill on that guy. Nice. One more and it's the end. Oh, yeah, come on. Right, let's try smash this guy into a car. Die, copper! Yeah! Eat my lead, po uh, copper. Bet you didn't prefer donuts. <laughs> really stop making offensive references to the police. I always feel so bad immediately after doing it. <laughs> but that's what the young kids like. Oh, shit! Oh shit, never take one hand off the controller, that's stupid. Oh, come on, oh, I wanted to get chopper kill on that guy, shit. Yeah, oh, I didn't, what? I, I failed, shit. Continue journey. <sighs> okay, here we are, YouTube, on to level four. It's exterminate the roof tape, uh, uh, rooftop rat. The reason I just didn't retry that le level is because I'm kind of lowing a, a lower enough health bar and I really want to show off level 4. Because level 4 is a goddamn rooftop race and it's glorious. And you get jump jets and a goddamn cool grappling gun, which I'm going to use now, which is just glorious. I love these rooftop races. Oh, game over because I'm out of health. Shit balls. Oh, okay, YouTube, I am going to end up this video now because the format of these videos is I'm going to try play from level one as far as I can make it and then do another one. I'm just going to choose my experience base upgrade here and give you all a little bit of information on the order of um, giveaways I'll be doing. If anyone wants to enter this competition, simply just comment on this video and over the course of the week, probably Wednesday, I will be giving away a copy of Burnout Paradise Ultimate Edition with all of the download content for Steam on the computer. So if you're interested in that, just enter here. I'll also be giving away some other giveaway, other games over the course of the week. As well as that, I'll be doing a big, giant $50 giveaway. There'll be an annotation on screen right now if you want to find out details on any other of those. I really hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward to playing more of my newest series here on the channel, Road Redemption. And bye for now.